This song is getting me copyrighted for sure. YouTube, it's your girl okay, Selena, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are not new, but if you're new, welcome. Um, today we're at the beach. I have a nice stag. If y'all know me and you guys checked out my videos, you would know one stag gets me lit. So you already know, y'all feeling nice. And look how far I got. Y'all feeling nice. What? <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up and drink it so it won't get cold. I don't know if I should face this. Let's see if put the camera here. Better, this is better, guys. Okay, so um, today I'm on the beach. Um, I, I see you guys love my beach videos, and it's just talking and chatting. The other one went very well. Check that video out if you guys have not, because that was the it into it with the Wow, but every day is an adventure, every day is something different. As I can see, every time I leave the house, it's some type of drama or something. But um, yeah, we're gonna go in the water now. You guys wanna see me go in the water and go to the beach and explore everything and talk to people. Into that part one, I want you guys to definitely give this video a thumbs up. So I want you guys to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you are missing so much amazing content. It's actually, a, it's not even a joke. It's not even a joke. And I want you guys to see me like really grow. Like, isn't it beautiful? Isn't don't you think it's beautiful to see growth? So I think you know, I want I want you to see me from you know this point and just continue to watch me flourish. That it's gonna happen. Life is great. I share my whole life with you guys. So I want you guys to be part of it. So yeah, definitely subscribe. Sorry if you think I'm whispering, it's just a lot of people around. But um, I decided that I want to do a video journal today. I want to do a video for my future self, maybe in like six months or a year from now to look back at and just, you know, talk to that version of her and just get some things off my chest. So let's just do that now before we get into the, before I take off my clothes and start getting lit. For starters, I definitely want to just say to my future, Selena, future K Selena, future bad gal, future star. I just want to tell her that, you know, you are truly destined for greatness. And I feel it. I always felt it. I didn't know how though for a long time, but I feel like I know how now. And I'm just destined for literally greatness. I was never supposed to be in a box. I was never supposed to be mediocre. I was never supposed to be like everybody else. I was never supposed to be average. Nothing about me is average if I'm gonna be real. And I don't know, like I just always know I'm destined for like amazing things. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just too great to be in a box. So I'm glad that I finally touched into myself and you know, into what I love to do in my life and touch, starting to reach the goals that I really wanted to reach. I feel that for a long time, First of all, I have so much things I want to just do this year alone that not everyone might see. I know my success and my steps, but you guys might not see them. I don't always have to show you guys my growth, you know. But I feel like 
like for a very long time i felt like and i still do feel like now that i'm too old to accomplish certain things even though guys i am under 25 <laughs> I'm actually kind of young, even though I put this pressure on myself. I think it's because I feel like I put so much pressure on myself in a way because I feel like, okay, I'm not young anymore. I'm not 20, I'm not 21. That's young. That's where, like, you know, I feel like, if, like, once I pass 21, I'm like, damn, like, this pressure now, this pressure for kids, this pressure for marriage, this pressure for success, getting your shit together at a certain age. It's just so much pressure. And I pressure myself a lot. If you guys do not know, now you know. It's Selena watching this, I know you know. I put too much pressure on myself, and a lot of people tell me all the time I put too much pressure on myself. But at the end of the day, I just can't listen to them because I just feel like I have no choice but to pressure myself. And I'm gonna get into why I pressure myself so much, but I really have no choice. Um, two, I feel like. I feel like I'm too old for stuff like and I don't know why I feel that way because I am not that old I'm under 25 like I'm a young adult I'm in my early 20s I should not be feeling like I'm too old to do certain things or accomplish certain things or try new things but I do feel like that sometimes even with social media and like pursuing stuff on Instagram I want to do I'm just like are you too old for that like honestly because everyone I see that's doing it have been doing it for years but to start in your mid-20s is like I mean early 20s I don't know why I feel like I'm too old I don't know I just feel like that's just, like even YouTube I swear to god Sometimes I'll be like, am I too old for this? <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like this is something I should have started when I was 18, 19. But I got to stop doing that to myself because there's people who are 30 who are not accomplishing their social media dreams and are busting it out, you know? So I got to stop thinking like that. I just feel like I have a lot of risks that I want to take. And I'm proud of the risks that I have taken already, honestly speaking. And I don't know. I just feel like I got to continue taking more risks to like be where I want to be. Um, I can't really tell you too much on what I want to do, but I can tell you, but I can tell you is that, um, I have a risk that I want to take and it kind of scares me and I don't know, I'd be scared, but I have no choice because when I sit here and I'm, and I'm, and I'm in this environment, it, it gives me a lot of motivation and it proves me what I'm destined to do. I know what I'm destined to do and what I'm destined for and I gotta just start pursuing that because life is too short to just to wait life is too short I'm telling you this to my girl in the future myself in the future you don't have time to waste anymore you're not a baby anymore you're not 20 which you're not 25 but you're not 20 so it's like you're right in between this is the time where you need to like you know really do what you gotta do so. guys um I also feel I feel like I just gotta continue taking risks, like I said. And one of my flaws, I'm gonna be so honest, and I'm, and I'm telling this to y'all because I'm telling this to my future self so, so she can fix this shit. And I hope in this time you fix it. It's not only just procrastination, but it's just overthinking and not doing it. I feel that's a huge thing. And sometimes you have to be okay with the scenario you're in and still try to grind while you're in a scenario you don't wanna be in. Like, you're, or you're at a stage in life you don't wanna be in. You don't want to be in it, and I, I feel like I try to wait for perfection. I want to wait till I'm at a certain point, or wait till I'm good, or wait till I'm doing this to start things. But you just have to wait while you're. You have to start while you're not in the best place. I feel like I, even with you two, I started when I was not in the best place, and this doesn't work magic. And I'm, I'm still not in the best place yet. I want to be, but not there yet. Hopefully, by the time I watch this again, I will be in the best place. But just keep. I know that things want to do in the future, and I would just literally say to myself. Again, I know it's scary. I know it's scary. And I know it feels intimidating. No one in your family has done anything like this before. No one that you know, none of your friends are on the same wavelength that you are. I'm not saying my friends are not successful, they are, but they're not taking the career path and the, and the, 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 um, the risks that I'm taking. Um, no one around me does anything I do. No one around me, I don't know anyone, like, I, I can't say anyone in my circle, my family has done things I want to do or pursue the things I want to pursue or make that amount I want to make. It's really just me, you know, and I know it's just me and I feel like it's harder because it's just me and I don't have anyone to like bounce off of or people who are like me in my circle. But you have to just think about the reasons why you're doing this. Think about that you're doing this for literally happiness, if you want to be real, literally. 
everything that you're doing is not just for money it's literally to have a happy life the life that you always wanted you want to also you know cater to that little girl that little selena you know the things that she wanted in life you know the things that she didn't she was deprived of you know i had an amazing childhood guys i had an amazing childhood amazing life but there's little things just as like just little things that i i want and i think i have to just do it now live through it now and have children and live with my kids and stuff like that but um i don't know but I, i'm just at the phase where just do things to make me happy i swear to god and i feel like another thing too i don't know if other people go through this but i'm an older sibling right i'm the oldest by far there's like a 11 to 12 years age gap for me and my siblings it doesn't really feel like i have siblings sometimes and my siblings are so young it feels like i'm like a baby parent because it's not like my sibling is like 2019 18 17 they can't relate to me we can't talk about grown people stuff my siblings are children like 11 you know what i'm trying to say 12 so it's like mm, it's a little difficult and i feel like it's a lot of pressure being the firstborn it really is i'm gonna be vulnerable with you guys it's even more pressure because not only am i the firstborn right by a huge gap so i'm basically i was the only child for so long and sometimes i still feel like that i feel like, I feel like i'm my only child with like like fake little kids to take care of but i'm the firstborn on top of that i'm in a single parent household it's just my mom my mom you know so my dad's in my life i love him to death he just doesn't live with me you know so i don't know guys it's just like it's a lot of pressure it's like i don't have no older sibling to rely on i don't have them to lean on it's me it's me i don't have my family my parents to rely on because i'm completely better than them I can't rely on people who are beneath me. No offense, love them. You know what I'm trying to say. But I can't rely on people and lean on people and look up to people who are not doing what I want to do and I want to be better than them. So it's like it's really just me. It's very hard. It's very frustrating. It's such much, so much pressure. My siblings already look up to me. They're like, oh my god, I want to do track. I want to go to the school she went to. I want to do what she does. And even the mistakes I make, they look. They look at everything I do. It's so much pressure all the time. I don't know, guys. But I'm still taking my bathing suit. My <laughs> jelly. But, um, um, yeah, I just feel like, um, I don't know, it's just a lot of pressure like and I, I see i have a friend right she's like well yeah friend i guess we say she's like 18 and she has two older brothers and i just be looking at this girl i don't envy her but i look at her and like i don't know what the word is like maybe like in awe that like how lucky she is in life that she has like two older brothers and a two-parent household you know how easy it is for her like you know how easy life is for someone like that like you don't need you don't need to, you can always ask for something you can always be like yo like brother give me some money brother take me here brother do this for me dad do this for me dad pay for this mom do this like you can always ask for something but for me it's different like i'm what my siblings ask for something for i'm the, the provider and it's like i want to grow out of this masculinity so bad i feel like i'm overly independent overly masculine a little bit and i feel like one of my relationships really helped me get into my feminine era because he does things for me he provides for me he helps me that may sound like easier and that's what a man should really do and it really opened up my eyes like damn like damn i was really overly dependent like he would ask to hold my bag i'm like for what i hold my bag that's your job my nigga that's your job to hold my bag it's like little things like that guys it's just like i'm trying to be in my most feminine era soft forever and to do that i have to take a take risk to live the certain life i want to have not everyone has the same life i was put in a situation where my life isn't the easiest or the most perfect but i have always worked hard and did what i had to do to have an amazing life and to do things like this be here and i, I want to just continue working hard and continue to just grow wealth and fuck having money it's about wealth fuck having money it's about wealth fuck what's just in your account it's about you know the future um, I think this is all staring at me. Anyways, if, forget having 
just temporary money in your account to buy designer that's what that's why y'all are stripping the real people who got money don't even be wasting their money and shit. you don't see me with no damn designer because i'd be here and this is giving you wealth you know why because this is an experience and this is paying me back later later down the, the road this video is making me money right now later down the road so it's just like but yeah guys i don't know if anyone can relate to what i'm saying but as i said back to my girl my future self you've always taken risks i literally am a high college struggle guys and that wasn't because i have no choice people drop out because they have no choice with, with finances and whatever it was a choice for me i was like this is not for me and i did not know what i would do, do next but i knew i was destined for more <laughs> guys look at these boosters really having a whole cock fight um, but yeah, I just feel like I'm destined for more. Like I was always destined for more than a college campus. I'm not gonna lie, all the kids in college on um, the college campus, they all blended into me. They were all just regular ass kids. Like they were just regulars. Like no one stood out. There was a couple people. I'm gonna say like two or three people. I, I was like, oh yeah, she won't, she gonna be something one day, or she's different. But everybody else, okay, y'all all doing this. Y'all all doing a club. Y'all all president managers of the club. Y'all all on eboard. Y'all all doing studying and going like y'all all doing the same thing if you really look, look at it I'm not gonna lie like y'all all in a regular ass campus oh y'all is ordinary that's how i looked at people when i was in school and i just kept saying to myself like i feel like i'm not ordinary like i don't want to just get a degree to work nine to five afterwards like an ordinary person like I'm not going to be if i want to be real the one percent the billionaires have 80 percent of them didn't go to college because they wasn't ordinary let's be real so it's like if you know you're not ordinary, you're not gonna do the ordinary shit, just the predictable shit. Let's be real. And I did it for a while. I did college for a little bit, but after a while, it's like as I, I realized I was destined for greatness. So that's just my story. And um, I just don't want to have an ordinary life. I just know that. And I was telling my friends the other day, like I'm not meant to be a corporate corporate baddie. I'm not meant to be a nine to five. I'm not meant to be like like sitting in a cubicle sitting at a desk honestly i want to be a nurse at a point guys i think i told you that in a previous video i wanted to be a nurse and i'm just like i'm so blessed that i did not continue that path because like i would have been locked up in a hospital all day do you see me now do you see how i'm in bad y'all if y'all see how lit, lit i am on the daily my personality who i attract the things i do what i'm destined for. like there's just so much about me guys it's like how can i hide that in a hospital doing 16 hour shifts all I want to do is just put on some scrubs every day and go to work and leave. I mean, obviously, I'm a nice person. I would have made friends and da-da-da. But I'm destined for, like, way more than that, boy. Like, my personality is meant to literally be, like, I'm, I'm meant to touch people around the world, literally. Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just meant for so much more than to be a goddamn nurse. Like, I'm not saying nothing wrong with nursing. I, I, I used to love it. And I think that people who, like, in, in another life, it could be meant for me because I love helping people. I love hospitals. I love the everyday hustle bustle. Like it could have been meant for me if I never discovered my purpose. But once you discover, like once I discover my purpose, I'm like, nah. Like you know another thing too. They say when the more you learn, the more you um, the the dumber you realize you are. Like the more you expand your brain, you realize, damn, I'm actually kind of dumb. Like I don't know a lot. The more you you know learn. So that's how I felt. I feel like, damn, the more I learned about life is like the more this 9 to 5 shit looks like crazy to me. But as I said, when I was, un uh, when I didn't know anything, I didn't know any better. I thought jobs were the only option. I thought nursing was like the best thing you can do. But once I realized like the shit that's really out here, how you can really make some money and really have an amazing life at the same time. And me personally, as I said, I, I fuck with the nurse. I fuck with the nine to fives. I do for other people. Cause a lot of people like that stability. But for me, it's like, I don't want that. I don't need that. I don't want that whole, you could even bro, even recent. The fact that I got to ask for time off to go somewhere and shit is just not for me. That's not for me. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I want to really say. I just wanted to say, Kara, just remember the struggles you've been through already in life. No, it's not that bad. I'm like, I wasn't getting abused or nothing. But I always had to work hard and nothing ever came easy to me. And I used to always look at people like, damn, this shit comes so easy for you. Like, you just have that life. You just have parents that just spoil you. You just went to this place because you just couldn't get it. You just had people who just do things for you. Like, I never had that. I never had an older sibling. I didn't have rich 
family. Like I never had everything I want in life, and I did. I always got on my own. And it's gonna continue to be like that, but I gotta double it now. 2024, I gotta really double it and really just make this and do what you gotta do. Like, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I know I wanna do. And I'm so fearful of certain things. It's not even just traveling, it's just business things and things I wanna try that I never even heard people do. I wanna do things I never even heard people do. I wanna do things that I didn't even know regular people could do. Like, I always saw rich people do it. I'm like, can a regular person do this too? I wanna do, I wanna do those things. And so y'all may not see everything, but I just know I want to do what I want to do. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys for listening. Even though you guys don't, probably don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about. But thanks, Selena. You're an amazing girl. And I know it feels tough sometimes. I know you're down sometimes. I know your emotions are in a roller coaster sometimes. I know that it feels like shit ain't worth it. I know it feels like sometimes you should just give up and just do a 9 to 5. I know you should just, I know it'd be tough. It'd be tough. But you're, I see you like already breaking out the tough part and you're about to just get into the flourishing part. And just because it's like the flourishing part don't mean the work's done, but I'm just proud, I'm proud of you already. So I just want to continue being proud of you. And you better be doing what you gotta do on YouTube. I swear to God, if I, if I look at this right now and you will be here on a YouTube break, I swear to God, I'm pun you're gonna be on punishment. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for listening. So we're gonna get into going on the beach. Um, I have sunscreen it's kind of dismal over here like there's no one in the water but oh the sunscreen coming out oh geez, oh it's it's a little watery oh jesus i don't know if the heat is melting it and i got sand on my body i just want to do my back a little bit okay i just hope my tan isn't too bad because whatever drink done guys if i can get another one i would get another one i'm gonna tap my hair now because I need to go in the water. This bun is worse than the last video. <laughs> this bun is way worse than the last video, for sure. This, okay, now this one needs to be worked on. But now it's not moving, so it's whatever. I'm gonna leave it like this. <laughs> I'll finish and hide a little bit. You guys can look to the trees. Um, I don't know if I should take my phone in the water or not. I doubt it. I left my, um, look at the last video, guys. Same thing happened. Like, I was supposed to do one thing, I didn't do it. But um, I'm gonna go in the water. It just looks a little dismal. Like, there's no one in there. Well, let's just go and be brave and just go okay so those, that's down there guys i don't know if i should go down there but look over here there's no one in the water but them no one's in the water yeah i'm not worried about safety i'm more worried about just um being lonely because sometimes i like when people are around just so i don't know but it's okay i don't really care i'm just gonna go in the water anyways and yeah let's go